Okay guys, check it out. Let's work our part two here to um, escaping the back mount, okay? So same thing, Mike here has my back, he has two hooks in, he has a back latch. All right, so he's got one, two hooks in, he got the back latch, good. Oh, he's mixing, mixing it up, he's got the back latch on the other side. Remember, like the same thing as the first video, secure the choking hand, okay? Don't secure the other hand because look, if I just go to secure this other hand, he'll be able to seek the choke in and now I'm fighting and it's already under my chin. So drop your chin a little bit, okay, and secure the choking hand. Now watch what I want to do. I want to sort of rubber band my body here. I want to do a little push-pull. Okay, I want to push into him with my feet, but I don't want to drive my body weight necessarily on top of him completely like the first one. Okay, so I push into him just a little bit. Now a lot of times he's going to try to straighten the hooks and flatten me back down. When he does, I just sit aggressively and pop under the arm. Okay, now a lot of times this is easier said than done. But if you create a rubber band effect, it's a little easier than being able to simply do this. That's very hard, okay? But if I'm here, I push, and he goes to push back, I bump, okay, I can possibly secure the position this way. Now from here, okay, so the original video, the hand choke, the choking hand pointed to the direction my back should go, okay? If I pass the arm, now I go the other way, because he has no post over here and no control, okay? So what do I do? Straighten this leg, walk, 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 back goes to the mat. Inside elbows, much more free. I come up and I secure my top side position. Okay? So one more time. Remember, you want to create that rubber band effect. Secure top control, arm, okay, choking arm. Feet come in. All right, maybe I just bump him a little bit. I just bump him, bump in. As I come up, now he's going to force me out. When he does, I slink down and pass the arm. This is fun to mess with on white belts every now and then. You can, <laughs> you can uh, secure a joint manipulation, possibly, if I go two hands on the wrist, I look to straighten and align his arm. Um, I've been caught in this a few times. I don't tap to it because it's kind of an inferior position, but it's a little bit of a, a threat. I can secure and sort of drive my shoulder up and in. You'll actually see there's a UFC uh, fight from, man, probably had been seven, eight years ago, where a guy actually tapped. He had back control and he secured this armbar from here. It's a little short armbar. Most of the time it's just a little silly threat. No big deal. I keep the arm tight, drop the hook. All right, even if he has it super tight, watch what I do. I walk my hip out and over it. Now he's starting to lose position, okay? If I'm here, walk my back to the mat, elbow comes in, you come on top. All right, so let's work that back now, escape. Let's go. Three, two, one. 